someone calling themselves God and started sending me suggestions for people who need help. His platform snapped. Dude's hanging on for his life. FDNY is gonna be here in under 10 minutes. Well, Miguel might not have that long. A new God friended me, Sunday on CBS. The flock blindly falls into formation. But this season, a more thrilling journey is calling. Defy the laws of human nature at the Season of Audi sales event. It's happening for 12 exciting hours from 10 Saturday morning until 10 Saturday night. The 12-hour countdown to Christmas sale at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Save on new furniture, flooring, appliances, electronics, plus fast and flexible delivery. Or get it today with same-day drive through pickup and special 30-month financing. Free picks and more with Santa Saturday and Sunday. 12 special hours, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Join the crowds at Nebraska Furniture Mart. A moth struggles in the spider's web, unaware that an exhilarating escape is just within reach. Defy the laws of human nature at the Season of Audi sales event. Still traumatized by what happened, a North Texas woman tonight takes you inside the Uber ride she calls a nightmare. This was a place that my family and I thought we would never be in. Why she says the company's response only makes her feel worse. A tribute to officers killed in the line of duty. How North Texas is honoring their lives and where you can pay your respects. Also, frustration building after another Cowboys loss. Are you embarrassed as an organization about how the team is hey, playing? get your damn act together yourself, okay? Even owner Jerry Jones loses his cool. CBS 11 News at 10 o'clock starts right now. Hi, everybody. Friday night, Doug Dunbar. Good to have you. More than 3,000 sexual assaults reported to Uber in just one year. Now, a North Texas woman says it has also happened to her, and Uber's response left her hurting all over again, she tells us. Andrea Lucia starts us off in Dallas tonight with her story. Andrea? Well, Doug, Uber has tried to put the numbers it released in context. It says 99.9% .9 of its rides happen without incident. But the victim I spoke to feels like that statement downplays the thousands of sexual assaults that do happen. And I want to warn you, there are portions of this story that are disturbing. Because for a long time, I didn't want to go anywhere. I was scared. Lacey Hayes' ride home from DFW Airport in February was only her second time using a rideshare app.